In the last lecture, we learned how to create a document in the MongoDB database from our Express app using Mongoose. Now, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to query documents from the MongoDB database from our Express app using Mongoose. And to learn that, from our project, we are going to implement this Get All Movies API and this Get Movie API. And let's start by implementing this Get All Movies API first. So, from within this Get All Movies API, in the response, we want to return all the movies from the movies collection which we have in the MongoDB database. Now, how can we query all the documents from a MongoDB collection? Well, that's very simple. All we have to do is on the movie model. So here we are creating this movie model. So let me go ahead and let me copy it and let me paste it here. And on that, we are going to call the find method. So when we were learning about the fundamentals of MongoDB, there we learned that in order to query documents from a collection, we use find method. And we also learned that if we don't pass anything to this find method, in that case, it is going to return us all the documents from the collection, right? So when we are using this find method on this movie model, it is going to find all the documents from this movies collection and it is going to return it. And keep in mind that this find method is also going to return a promise. So let's go ahead and let's store that promise in a variable. For that, let's create a variable and let's call it movies. And to this movies, let's assign the promise which this find method is going to return. And here I'm also going to use this await keyword because we want to wait for the promise to get resolved or rejected. And since we are using the await keyword here, let's make this function as async. Now, this find method is going to return a promise. That promise can be either resolved or rejected. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the try catch block. So here, let me go ahead and specify a try block. In that try block, I will move this code. And then let's also specify a catch block, which will be called when the promise is rejected. And this catch block is also going to receive the error object. Let's simply call it ERR. All right. So in this movies variable, we will have all the movies from the movies collection. So now let's simply go ahead and let's return this movies in the response. For that, on the response object, first let's set the status. And here we are going to set the status to 200 OK. And then let's send a JSON response. Now here again, we are going to use the JSON JSON data formatting. For that, we specify a set of curly braces basically an object in that object first we specify the status let's say status is success then we specify the data which we actually want to send and to this data we assign an envelope so an envelope is basically an object so it is basically a wrapper around the actual data which we want to send in the response here in the response we want to send this movies data right so this object here is basically a wrapper around that data. So we call it as envelope. So here we are creating a property inside that envelope. And to that, we want to assign this movies variable. Now we have learned that in ES6, we don't need to do it if the property name and variable name is same. There, we can simply specify the property name. And JavaScript is smart enough to understand that to this movies property, we want to assign this movies variable. And here we can also specify the number of movie objects which we are sending in the response. For that, here we can create a new property. Let's simply call it maybe length. And to this length, we want to assign the number of movie objects which we have inside this movies data. So remember that this find method, it is going to return a promise. And in that promise, we are going to have the movies data inside an array. So this movies is basically an array. So to get the total number of movies which we have inside this movies array, on this movies array, we can use length property. So here you can say movies dot length. Okay. So this is in case when this find method returns a resolved promise. But this find method can also return a rejected promise if some error occurs. Let's say the server is down or because of some other reason, the find method cannot fetch the data from the MongoDB server. In that case, it is going to return a rejected promise. And that rejected promise can be handled inside this catch block. So if the promise returned by the find method, if it is rejected, that means if some error has occurred, in that case, again, we want to send some response. For that, on this response object, let's first set the status code. And here, the status code is going to be 404 not found. 
Because here, when we made the request to get all the movies in the response, it was not able to get the movies and that's why we are sending this 404 not found. And then we also want to send some response, some JSON response. So for that, again, I am going to use this JSON, JSON data formatting. And there I will set the status to fail. And let's say we want to have a message property. And there we want to display the error message. So let's say ERR dot message. So basically this error object is going to have a message property. And to this message property, we are setting that error message as its value. All right. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman. And here, let's open this get all movies. Okay. So when we make a get request to this API, it should return us all the movies from the MongoDB database. Okay. Basically, it is going to call get all movies API. And from the get all movies API, it should return us all the movies which we have in the movies collection of the mongodb database so let's make a get request to this api let's click on the send button and as you can see in the response we have all the movies which we have in our movies collection in the mongodb database so here you can see we have this test one earlier we also inserted this die hard movie this interstellar movie and after that in the previous lecture we inserted this test one movie this test two movie test 3 and test 4. So we are getting all these movies in the response when we are making a get request to this API. Basically, to this get all movies API. Okay, so to query documents from a MongoDB collection on the model, we can simply use this find method. Now to this find method, we can also pass some filter. For example, if you want to get only those movies whose rating is greater than 4.0, in that case, we can specify that filter inside this find method. But we are not going to do that because this get all movies, it should return all the movies from the movies collection. Now let's go ahead and let's implement this get movie API. So this get movie API should return a movie object, a single movie object based on its ID. Let's see how we can do that. So here again, I will go ahead and I will create a variable. I will simply call it movie. And then I'm going to use this await keyword. And then let's use this movie model. And on that, again, we are going to use the find method. Okay. And since we are using this await keyword here, here we can also use async. All right. Now to this find method, we can pass a filter. And the filter will be where this underscore ID, it is equal to. So basically, when we specify an ID or any route parameter in the URL, that route parameter will be available on this request object. There we have this param object or it is params and in there we will have our route parameters as the property of this params object. So there we will have this ID parameter because if I go to this movies route and if we see this get API, here you see we are specifying this ID route parameter. So we have learned how to specify a route parameter in an express app. So here we are specifying an ID parameter. This is a route parameter. So when we are specifying this ID route parameter here, this ID route parameter, it will be available as a property of this params object. And this params object is a property of this request object. Okay. So for this ID property, we are going to receive whatever value we pass after this route. So if I open app.js, here we are specifying the endpoint. So it is slash API slash V1 slash movies. And after this slash movies, we can specify an ID value. So that ID value will be assigned to this ID property. Okay. So using this find method, we are trying to filter that movie object from the movies collection whose underscore ID matches the ID value which we are specifying in the URL. And we know that each movie object is going to have a unique underscore ID value. So this find method is going to return a single movie object and that movie object will be assigned to this movie variable. Now, instead of doing it like this, what we can also do is, so let me copy this line and I will comment it for your reference and let me paste it here. So instead of doing it like this, 
instead of using this find method what we can also do is we can use another method called find by id okay so using this find by id method it is similar to writing this code okay so behind the scene this find by id is going to use this code and it is going to return that movie object whose id matches the id value which we pass to this find by id method so let me copy this line because in this id property of this params object we are going to receive the id value which the user has specified in the url so the underscore id property of whichever movie object matches the value of this id property that movie object will be returned by this find by id method and that will be assigned to this movie variable and rest of the things are going to be same so let me go ahead and let me copy this line and let's go ahead and let's paste it here. So here also the status code is going to be 200. Then from here, we are sending a JSON data in the response. There, we are specifying the status field. We are setting it to success. Here, we don't need the length field because we are going to send only one movie object in the response. And then we are specifying this data field. And to that, we are using this enveloping. And inside that, we are specifying the data which we want to send in the response. Here, we want to send this movie object in the response. So instead of calling it movies, I will simply call it movie. So to this movie property, the value stored in this movie variable will be assigned. Let me go ahead and let me put this code inside the try block. And let's add a catch block here. So this catch block is going to receive the error object. And... I'm also going to copy this code from within this sketch block and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So with this, again, let's save the changes. And now our get movie API should also be working. So let's go to Postman. Let's open this get movie by ID API. And there we need to pass some ID value. Now here, we cannot pass the integer value because if I go to comp pass, there you will notice that for each movie object, this underscore ID field is assigned with an object ID. So here in the URL, we need to pass that object ID. So what I will do is I'll go to this get all movies API and from there I will copy the underscore ID value for one of these movies. So maybe this one. Okay. And let me go ahead and let me specify that ID value. Okay. And now if I make a get request here, we should receive that movie object in the response. So as you can see, based on this movie ID, we are receiving that movie object in the response. So here, the name of the movie is Die Hard. If I go to this get all movies, for that movie only, we have copied its ID. Right. So our get movie by ID API, that is also working as expected. Okay. So here, in order to get all the movies, we are using this find method and there we are not specifying any filter. And in order to get a movie by ID, we are using this find by ID method. And as I mentioned earlier, this find by ID method behind the scenes uses this find method where we specify the filter as underscore ID and the value which we are receiving for the id route parameter so this find by id it is returning us a single movie object but this find method without any filter it is returning us all the movie objects from the movie collection this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day